I know Leslie Priest wanted to know. I think that's it. That could be wrong. How do I prep my smoothies? We'll start by making some more room because I have no room. All right, so I have frozen mangoes. I have spinach. I have celery. The celery was already in my refrigerator. And so was the mango. This pineapple is not going in there because I can't eat pineapples no more. I have these ripe bananas because they're sweeter. These are just going to hang on the fruit bowl. Then I got three apples because I'm going to just make me up six bags of fruit. So all I do is cut everything up and put it in a bag. So I guess I can show you. Oh, I have a knife. I have a cutting board. I have an apple slicer. I have freezer bags. That's all you need. It's cheaper in the long run to make your own smoothie mix compared to buying the bags that they have at the store. Like I said, in the long run, if you have a smoothie every day, like me, then you want to just prep your own. And you do it like this and you won't have to um, worry about it being time to zoom in in the morning or a uh, big mess every morning. So last time, I think I put whole apples in a bag and I just had too much in my bag. And I normally take my Yeti cup so it'll hold all of it. But lately, I haven't been taking my Yeti. I've been taking a smaller water bottle. And um, I just don't have room. All right, so the kids normally around me and they come eat these or I even eat them, whatever. But I told them to move back so that we make a lot of noise. So I'm just going to show y'all basically how I um, make the bags. Normally I would go through and I would cut all my apples and put all my apples in the bag right away. But because I'm doing a little demo, I am going to go ahead and prep the whole bag. I have no order as to how much of what I put in there. But for y'all's sake, I'm gonna try to keep up with what I'm doing. So I put a half an apple in a bag. I'm gonna put two stalks of celery in the bag because the serving size for the celery is two stalks. So if you're a calorie counter, you can pretty much know how many calories you're getting in if you keep up with the serving size. Half an apple, two stalks of celery. I'm going to put, I feel like I'm missing something out of this bag. Cause I normally put like so much stuff in there, but this time I'm just doing smaller bags. So I'm trying to put that much stuff. I don't know, this is maybe a half a mango right here. Six little cubes of mango. six cubes of mango. I don't know where this one came from. So I'm going to throw it in any video. I'll throw it in that one. It's open. Alright. So the next thing is my ripe bananas. You look for bananas that got the brown spots. Like this banana is still pretty hard and firm. They don't have no soft spots even though you see brown. That just means it's going to be sweeter because you should not be putting sugar in your smoothies. Stick with it. You can win half a banana. I like trying to break my fruit up instead of leaving it whole. I like to break it up. But I put it in there. It goes in your blender easier. This one is going to be a green smoothie. If you notice, I'm only putting white, yellow, and green things in the bag. And that's how you have a green smoothie. So the only thing left is to fill the bag up with spinach. I'm going to do like a handful. That way I can get six bags out of this bag of spinach. This is a handful. I like to ball it up. 
stick it in the bag. I squeeze the bag, fold down, and then seal. The more air you get out, the better. The less chance to worry about freezer burnt. Although these bags normally don't last long enough for freezer burnt. But if it look like this, that means I got a lot of air out. And then you can take it and kind of like spread it out like this. It'll just make it easier to, when you take it out in the morning it's frozen, you can just pop it, pop it, and drop it over in your blender. And that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish making the rest of these bags, stick them in the freezer, and if I can remember in the morning when I get ready to make one, I will show you how I make it. Okay, it is a new day. So now we're going to make our smoothie. Well, it's the next morning, I mean, it's a new day, same thing. Right, most of y'all know I live in Flint, so I use bottled water for everything. Okay, so here we go. Take the top off. I like my smoothie stick, so I'm going to put almost a whole bottle. I made a little over half a bottle. It's 16.9 ounces in here. So I put probably about 10 ounces. So yeah, that's about how much it's in. Next, I'm going to put my, uh, this, because I did it last night, it, it's not even frozen solid yet. So, it breaks apart pretty easy to go in there. But if not, you would just do this to the bag and break it apart. Oh, do this to the bag and break it apart. Sorry, you didn't see that. You out of food? Are you out of food? Huh? Okay. So, that's it. You just blend. I like blending with water because when I blend with milk, it's just too thick to me. So... I'm gonna blend it real quick. This is actually thicker than what I like, but if um you add some ice, which I have no ice, it will be thicker. And as you can as you can see, it's a green color, and that's how you make a green smoothie. But I Put something else in my eyes. Matcha powder. That's too much. That's too much. I don't want the power to overtake it. I just want a little bit of the benefits in it. Um, that's enough. I forgot to tell y'all, I even add lemon juice, lime juice, whatever, and I happen to have two key limes I can put in here. I'm going to put these two key limes in there. I actually don't know how to cut the key line, but this is the way I peel it. I just use a knife to help me grip it.
to always ask to have some. So I get them some. Then I'm going to get a little bit today because I made a smaller batch. Like I said today, but I let them taste it. Oh, no. <sighs> And that's my very smoothie. What I normally do too, I taste my smoothie and make sure it tastes okay. But my first batch tastes okay. So now I know every morning I can use some same bags and make it the same way and it will be okay. Thank you for watching, Leslie Priest. I hope you enjoyed this with everybody else. And now you know another way of making a smoothie. I always, um, I used to always put like every single fruit in the house I had in my smoothie and it wouldn't taste so good and I'm trying to get it down. And I learned to not put everything in there. I try to focus on keeping colors together to have a nice pretty color and make it appetizing. And it, you want it more at the end like that too. So, this is not like the only color. I drink purple smoothies and I have a orange smoothie I made. So, yeah, green and purple are my famous smoothies. I used to drink two a day and I have a green one and a purple one later on. I just haven't made up the purple one. That purple one prep is like messy because I use beets and berries and all that dark stuff. But, okay. Bye-bye.